Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is fundamentally challenging the legal order of the European Union. When Poland signed its accession treaty, which took effect in 2004, it committed to recognizing European Court of Justice rulings. That is the EU Supreme Court. And uh, just like the Supreme Court in the United States, that court is supposed to take precedence over all national courts. But what Poland's political, uh, what Poland's constitutional tribunal ruled today or yesterday was that the that Polish courts could overrule that European Court of Justice. So you can imagine it would be like if in the United States uh, the Texas governor set up a tribunal and that tribunal said Texas laws are above the U.S. Supreme Court laws and the governor agreed with that. That would cause a constitutional crisis in the U.S. and we are very much headed toward a constitutional crisis in the European Union. Now, the Commission indicated with its statement and the statement from President von der Leyen that they will pursue infringement action. The problem is that that infringement action goes to the European Court of Justice, the very Supreme Court that Poland is now saying it doesn't recognize the rulings of. Uh, so this could really escalate. There's a lot of people calling for more extreme short-term action, such as withholding that 23 billion euros uh, from the uh, Pandemic Recovery Fund. But even bigger than that, some are actually saying that all disbursements from the EU budget should be frozen until Poland commits to recognizing that the European Court of Justice is the highest court in this union. That could really set up a showdown, which could actually, a lot of people are warning, lead to Poland having to leave the European Union. Yeah, and it's all a question of asking how isolated Poland is, because on the one hand, uh, a lot of voices critical of Warsaw. On the other, I I'm, we're hearing this Friday that there are 12 EU states, and Poland is one of them, who want a Brussels to pay for border barriers to stop illegal migrants from crossing in to the EU. So yeah, it's the question of how isolated is Poland? Yeah, I mean, and, and on this issue on migration, Poland certainly has a lot of allies. I mean, the migration issue is heating up here in Brussels for two reasons. One is that there is a, a concern about an influx, influx of Afghan refugees coming into those border regions, particularly in the east. And there's a current flare-up on Poland's border with Belarus, where uh, Belarus is purposefully sending migrants over to the Polish border. In turn, Poland is pushing them back and is being accused of really horrendous conditions, treating those migrants really terribly. The commission has just got an agreement to be able to send people there to observe what's happening. But this migration issue is something that links a lot of governments in Eastern Europe, uh, and it is one that Poland has allies on. When it comes to this rule of law issue, however, uh, that unity is not so strong, particularly if you look at the V4 countries, which are Poland, uh, Hungary, Slovakia, and Czechia. Slovakia and Czechia, not so much on board with Poland and Hungary on a lot of these issues. So while there are certainly issues on which Poland is very much unified with its Eastern European neighbors and, its, uh, and there's a solid bloc there, there's other things in which their neighbors are not so supportive, and I think this is one that's going to make a lot of countries very nervous, including Poland's neighbors in Central and Eastern Europe. Dave Keating reporting live.